Deutsche Aircraft reveals the first details about the new Dornier 328. A new aircraft manufacturer is established in Leipzig. For the first time, Deutsche Aircraft has now revealed what the new D328 Eco turboprop aircraft will achieve. One thing is particularly important to those responsible at Deutsche Aircraft. Your new product should be perceived as environmentally friendly. One will offer an eco-efficient alternative in the market for regional aircraft with fewer than 50 seats, said boss Dave Jackson at a presentation on December 7. The name of the turboprop aircraft was changed some time ago. It is now called the D328 Eco. Deutsche Aircraft is the name of the manufacturer that presented itself to the public for the first time a year ago. Since then he has been building a new aircraft factory in Leipzig. There is also a development department in Oberpfaffenhof and near Munich. The company plans to employ around 500 people in the future. In the past few months, people have been hired, the product has been refined, market analyzes have been adjusted and patents have been registered, according to Jackson. New propeller, new cockpit, longer hull. For the first time, Deutsche Aircraft's management also revealed more details about the project. According to head of development Nico Newman, the D328 Eco will have the DNA of the Dornier 328. However, it will have various changes compared to its predecessor, which was built between 1992 and 2008 and was not a bestseller with 220 copies. The D328 Eco has a completely revised cockpit with the latest avionics, the entirety of the electrical and electronic devices on board. It should also be configured in such a way that operation with just one pilot will be possible in the future. The fuselage of the Deutsche Aircraft D328 Eco is stretched 2.1 meters compared to the Dornier 328, to 23.31 meters. This means that there will be space for up to 43 instead of 33 passengers on the plane. That will increase profitability, says Newman. The drive will also be completely new. A specially developed propeller in the PW127S engines from Pratt & Whitney Canada should ensure a lower consumption of 2.6 litres per passenger and 100 kilometres and less noise. Operation with bio-kerosene should be possible without any problems. D328 Eco will be able to land on unpaved slopes. In addition, Deutsche Aircraft will strengthen the landing gear. The aim is that the D328 Eco can also take off and land on unpaved slopes. 1,000 meters should be sufficient for this. In addition, a so-called gravel kit can optionally be installed. Adjustments to the aircraft so that foreign objects do not damage the aircraft and its engines during landings and takeoffs on natural slopes. This way, you can address many additional potential customers, says Newman. In general, Deutsche Aircraft hopes to be able to convince today's operators of the aging Dornier 328 of the new aircraft, but also to find new customers. Behind the new German manufacturer are 328 Support Services, which own the rights to the Dornier 328, and its parent company Sierra Nevada Corporation.